Hello. Today we're going to demonstrate what to do with your bio orb or your bio turtle or your own micro aquarium when it gets too full, when you have too many pyrodinos in your micro aquarium. So today we're going to go through three different protocols. The most simple one we're going to demonstrate on the vase here, and that would be simply to swirl the contents, pour off e either into a new container or down the drain, your choice, and then add uh, either dino nutrients or blue boost dino nutrients to supplement some of the stuff we poured off. For the second option, we're going to use the bio orb. And for the bio orb, we're going to try to remove some of the debris. There's some debris here at the bottom, maybe hard to see on the camera, but we're going to rinse that debris out. And, and we're going to do that by first uh, swirling the bio orb, letting it sit for 15 or 20 minutes, letting that debris settle. And then we're going to, going to use an empty water bottle. We'll have to empty this one, but this is the water bottle we're going to use. And we're going to pour off the top part portion, probably about this much into the empty water, the clean empty water bottle. And then we're going to use uh, dino nutrients to rinse out the remaining debris in the bio orb. And then we're gonna simply repopulate by pouring the contents back into the bio orb. And that's the second protocol. Now the third protocol is more extreme and that's if you think your micro aquarium is contaminated or has some growth or there's, it's really dirty. Sometimes over maybe a year or more, this tends to happen. So we're gonna demonstrate what to do if your micro aquarium gets really dirty. So for the bio turtle, we're going to do basically the same thing we're going to do for the bio orb. We're going to swirl, let sit for 15 or 20 minutes. Then we're going to pour out the top portion into a clean, clear container. But then uh, instead of just simply rinsing, we're going to rinse and then wash the container. And we'll show you how to wash the container using a tiny amount of dish soap and bleach. For this one, we're going to show the full protocol over the sink. So this is uh, three options here and let's go through. We'll start with the vase first. So let's start with the vase. So we're going to uh, swirl the contents. You can see there's uh, a meniscus. I don't know how easy it is to see that, but there's a little meniscus that's starting to dissipate now that I'm moving this. But that's a good sign of health to having uh, a line of the pyrodinos at the top of the water line. That's something you usually want to look for when you're growing pyrodinos. Now, if you don't see that within a week or 10 days, then it's probably time to just change the lighting conditions of your micro aquarium. Change it, uh, usually it means moving it away from a light source or um, if it's already in a low light location, maybe moving it into a little bit better light source. So it's uh, maybe closer to a light source. But you should do that and not focus so much on feeding. So first of all, we're gonna swirl our micro aquarium to mix the contents. And for this one, again, we're just going to pour off and repopulate. Sometimes I like to um, feed first and then pour off, especially if I'm going to use the contents or the pyrodinos in my container for a new container. So that's what I wanna show you in this example. So first of all, we're going to take our water bottle here. And when you're using uh, a container like a water bottle, make sure you don't drink out of it. Because once you drink out of it, it's no longer clean. So if you want to enjoy the water, pour the water into a glass. And I guess I have to drink some water. So pour the water into a glass to empty the water bottle. Okay, now it's clean. Some people like to rinse with a little dino nutrients. It's really not necessary. So now you have your clean container. This is nice and swirled. And like I said, we're gonna feed first. And I like to do this um, when I'm, again, when I'm gonna use the contents that I'm pouring off. Of course, you're free to pour your excess down a drain if you don't want to populate another micro aquarium, that's perfectly fine. Uh, the dino nutrients are room temperature. They've been kept in the same room with the micro aquarium and the pyro dino, so they're the same temperature. It's very important. So we're going to shake, the, give the dino nutrients a good shake. Then we're going to open them and we're going to pour a small amount 
And again, this is because we're going to pour off. So we we did that, and now we're going to pour off. This is like a Dasani commercial, but any water bottle will do. And see, we've reduced the volume considerably in our micro aquarium. I'm going to add a little bit more. dinonutrients and there you go this is all ready to go it's been refreshed and it'll keep on growing now for the contents in the water bottle these will grow too in a water bottle i would just simply leave the cap on but uh, not all the way tightened and if you want to shake it at night then i would tighten it up and you can shake it with bioluminescence at night and we'll see how this looks at night but yeah you can keep them your pyrodinos in a water bottle it's perfectly fine So there we go. We'll show what this looks like tonight. Hello. Uh, so for this step, for this protocol, we're going to use the bio orb and we're going to uh, simply swirl this, swirl the contents of the bio orb to put everything in the solution to take the uh, uh, pyrodinos that are aggregating at the water line and put them into solution and actually disrupt the debris and bring that into the solution. Then we're going to let the bio orb container sit for 15 to 20 minutes. And what's going to happen is the living pyrodinos are buoyant and they're going to remain in solution and the debris is simply going to fall to the bottom. So once that happens, after 15, 20 minutes, we're then going to pour the top portion, which is approximately a little more than half of the top portion, in, into this new clean, clear container that we use for the first protocol. It still has some dinos in it, but that's fine. We're gonna add some more dinos to them. So once we pour off, we're then gonna take the bottom portion, which we consider debris, and simply pour that down the drain and rinse with uh, dino nutrients. And at, once we rinse with dino nutrients, we're then going to just simply repopulate the orb. And the orb should be nice and clean and good to go for another year. So that's uh, the, the steps. And let's start by swirling the contents of this bio orb to get everything into solution. And now we'll wait 15, 20 minutes for that to stop, for the debris to settle, and for the pyro, uh, again, the pyrodinos will remain in suspension. Okay, okay, we've waited 15, 16, 17 minutes. I'm not sure exactly how, but the uh, debris has settled and we do have like a nice confluency of pyrodinos throughout solution in our culture here. So um, for this next step, I, I recommend uh, doing it over the sink or having a paper towel handy because sometimes it's a little difficult to pour from a bio orb into a bottle. There is some spillage sometimes, I'll do my best, but uh, the easiest thing to do is uh, take both of them like this and kind of tilt, tilt the bottle, tilt the opening of the orb, and then try to get as much as possible into the container. And there we go, a little bit of spillage here. Wipe that up. So, this is the debris that's left over. We're going to now pour this down the drain and then add a small amount of dino nutrients, swirl, rinse, pour that out. And then we're going to repopulate from our pour off bottle. So next step. Okay, here we have our bio orb and we already poured out the top contents. Now we're simply going to pour this, these contents down the drain, because this is the debris at the bottom. This is the stuff we really don't want that we're trying to clean out. Now we're going to dump that out, and then I'm going to take a small amount of dino nutrients, add it to the orb, swirl, make sure you rinse it all out, and then pour that out. Okay. Now this is ready to fill with the, uh, the top portion that we already poured out.
Okay, now we have our empty orb. We have the top portion that we've already poured out. We have the vase portion here as well, but that's fine. So what I'm going to do is, uh, there's two options at this point. I could pour this back in and then add a small amount of dinonutrients. Or what I prefer actually, and you can do it either way, is I would, I'm going to feed this poured off culture first in its entirety. Obviously the whole thing's not going back into my bio orb, but I'm going to swirl that and feed that whole population first. And then I'm going to pour back into my bio orb and fill it just under, just under one half full, maybe around a third full, which would be an ideal starting uh, place for a bio orb. So we're going to pour back what we already poured off. This would look good at night, actually. We should probably do a video pouring it back in at night. So we poured it back in, we've rinsed it out. Now we have a fresh bio orb that's ready to go another year. So here we go, the bio orb. And we have still more power dinos to play with, put in other containers. If your micro aquarium is dirty and it has a lot of debris and you feel like it really needs to be cleaned out and refreshed, there is a protocol for doing that. It's very similar to the bio orb protocol that we just did, which where we simply um, swirled, let's sit for 15 minutes, then we poured out the top portion uh, into a clean, clear container. Then we rinsed out the bio orb and repopulated it. Well, we're going to do the same with the bio turtle here. But instead of just rinsing the bio turtle out, we're gonna actually take it through one of our wash protocols and really clean the container before we repopulate it. So again, um, it's the same protocol, which I'll speed up for this one, for this demonstration. We'll just simply sh shake the bio turtle, where then we're going to pour it out and then we're going to clean it at the sink. And that's where we'll take the next step. And, uh, we'll show you that. Okay, for the wash protocol, we're going to be very careful not to use too much soap or bleach. That is the most important thing to stress here. Dish soap is good at cleaning out the container, but it can be the most toxic thing to pyrodino. So you want to make sure the amount of dish soap that you use is minimal. And we'll try to show you some examples here. I like to um, actually make a dilution of dish soap when I use it in water, 1 to 10. And that's uh, how dilute I like to use it. Um, before I do this cleaning protocol, but I know a lot of people don't have one to 10 dish soap. So we'll show you another way to do that. So first of all, we're going to um, just pour out the contents. And since this is the cleaning protocol, we're just going to empty it into the sink. And then we're going to um, actually just rinse out one or once or twice with regular tap water. And now we're going to fill up with a, a little bit of water and I'm going to take some dish soap. And here's something you do. Put a small amount of dish soap on your pinky. Just kind of stressing how little to use. That amount. And now we're going to fill it and actually add, let our pinky run under the water there and just add a little bit of dish soap. That's how little you want to use. And you want to make sure it's diluted. If you ever got a gob of dish soap into this, into your aquarium, you would spend uh, probably about a day rinsing it out. So you can see the water, you can see the soap in there already. Um, you can let the soap sit there for a little while um, if you want to kind of really work on the debris that's at the bottom or anything that's on the side, it really doesn't matter. We're going to speed it up here and just fill and rinse out. Now we're gonna fill it approximately about half full and add a small amount of bleach. 
So we filled it about half full. We're going to get our bleach. We have a big bottle of bleach here. And we're going to take a tiny bit of bleach. We don't want to use too much. So I'm going to pour a little tiny, about a quarter of a capful, just a little dot right there, actually. Let me a little more. Okay, there. Tiny bit of bleach. And we're going to pour that carefully into our half full container. Okay. This is where the uh, incubation step is required. So you do want to lift this give it a little swirl and let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes. It can sit overnight if you wanna let it go longer, but at least 15 or 20 minutes. So we're gonna let that sit. It has the bleach. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and our bioturtle, our container has been sitting here full of diluted bleach solution. And um, it's okay to fill it up all the way when it has the bleach too as well. We, I just did it halfway. And that's because most of the debris and the stuff that was on the bottom was on the bottom. So that's really the por portion that I wanted to get clean. So we have the bleach in here, the diluted bleach, diluted bleach, I wanna make that clear. Now we're simply gonna pour that out. Carefully, you don't wanna splash any of this. It will stain your clothes if you do. And we're gonna rinse three times. So full rinses. Okay, so we rinsed out the turtle uh, three times after adding bleach to it. Now this step is very important. Uh, you wanna add dinonutrients to the turtle at this point. So we're gonna take some dinonutrients and you can use Blue Boost dinonutrients if you want. And we're gonna fill it up about a third of the way. We're gonna put a stopper on it. And we're gonna shake it like this. And then we're gonna pour that out. Now you can do this once or twice. We're going to do it two times just to be on the safe side. The dinonutrients, the nutrient-rich seawater, actually does a great job at neutralizing any residual bleach. So this is an important step and um, really gets your microcarium ready for population. In fact, if you have a new jar, a mason jar, or something that you want to populate with pyrodinos, Doing a dinonutrient rinse, even if it's a clear, clean container and it's been really clean, doing a rinse like this before you populate it is really important. It actually does uh, good things and it makes the environment much more hospitable for pyrodinos. So we rinsed it twice uh, with dinonutrients and now it's ready to refill. Okay, so the bio turtle, our aquarium has been washed and rinsed. Uh, very thoroughly. And now it's ready to uh, repopulate with the pyrodino population that we poured off into the clean water bottle. You can either add the dinonutrients directly to your population that you're pouring in, or you can pour it in and then add some dinonutrients afterwards. Either one is fine. I like to add um, uh, the, pop, uh, the dinonutrients to the larger population and then populate. That's just my preference. Uh, again, we're gonna use Blue Boost dinonutrients uh, to feed this culture. Um, I'm gonna sh shake it. This is room temperature. It's the same temperature as our pyrodinos. Add a tiny bit to our already established culture here. And we're gonna feed it that way. And then we're going to take this, these uh, pyrodinos that we poured off initially, and we're gonna repopulate our turtle with these dinos. Again, about a third full is ideal, third to just under a half. There, and that's a good starting point. It gives you room to continue feedings. And we have 
extra pyro dinos that we get to play with here. So uh, those are the three different uh, protocols for uh, what to do when your bio orb or your micro aquarium become overpopulated with pyro dinos. So you either can um, just simply pour off and feed, or you can pour off into a clean container like a empty water bottle and then remove the debris, rinse with dino nutrients, and then repopulate. Or you can do that and instead of uh, rinsing with dino nutrients, well, you can do a full wash, which includes uh, a tiny amount of just soap bleach, as we did with the turtle, and then a rinse with dino nutrients before you repopulate. You have those three options. So I hope that's helpful and uh, thank you for growing with us.